Did you know that in today's modern society, people no longer carry cell phones? They carry phones, because that's what they're called now. Hi, I'm Herb Tankersley, and I'd like to give you seven pieces of helpful advice on how to properly use your phone. Number one, keep your away message brief. Hey, this is Trip. Sorry I'm not available right now, but if you please leave your name, your number, and a nope. No need to give us the same instructions you've been giving us since the mid-80s. I think we've got the hang of it now. This is Tripp's voicemail. Much better. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, number two, do record an away message. No one wants to listen to a robot slowly say your entire phone number that ironically makes it harder for us to know if we've dialed the right person. Three, five, 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 six, four. Now it's time to settle something once and for all. If you're talking to somebody and your call gets dropped, yeah, I saw a dude perfect when they were at the mall. Hello? It's the person who made the initial call who's responsible for calling back. No need to keep trying each other at the same time, only resulting in instant voicemail. Or waiting three seconds, then trying to connect again at the same time, only resulting in instant voicemail. Number four, when you do get reconnected, there's really no need to spend the first two minutes of the resumed conversation justifying why it couldn't have been you who dropped the call. No, it wasn't me. I have four bars. Well, I haven't moved, and I have 13 bars. Now we've reached the most important section of this video. What to do when your friend leaves his phone unguarded when he goes to the restroom. In this situation, you are legally obligated to do one of four things. One, change his keyboard from QWERTY to a ZERTY. Two, Change his away message to something really embarrassing. Hey, leave a message! How many times have you listened to your own away message? Exactly, you'll never know. Three, take a screenshot, zoom in, and set it as his background. And repeat, creating an impossible to look at home screen. Or four, my personal favorite, text some random people from his contacts and say things that are just bizarre enough that he'll be confused when they respond. Okay, lastly, number seven, from when I was counting my main points. If you're in public and you run into someone you haven't called back, you have two options. Did you get my message? Oh, um... One, ask him if he got a new number while scrolling through recent calls with a confused look on your face to ensure maximum believability. Not seeing it. Or two, just tell him you got a new phone. Oh, uh, I got a new phone. So... Oh. Now, while you may not have gotten one since the time the message was left, you have gotten a new phone at some point in your life. And that's it. Oh, I almost forgot. The most important thing to remember about talking on the phone with your friends is this. Just text. Stay tuned next time for an in-depth look at how to end a phone conversation with just one closing remark. All right, man. It's good talking. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll see you tonight. Yeah, we'll see you tonight. Okay. All right. All right. That about does it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Tell Hannah, hey. Okay, bye. Hey, hey don't Trip and forget Tyler to check here. out Thank our good so friends at lifesize.com. Sure you can click below to get a free trial subscription. It's an amazing video conferencing technology that actually works we'll on you your phone. Time. Thank you so much.